Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechGuru. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the display brightness level test in the Moto H20 device. Right now, I do have the Moto H20 as you can clearly see, friends. And with this Moto H20, let's see what will be the maximum brightness we can actually get in this Moto H20 using this digital looks meter. So this video has been requested by a few of my subscribers who are still using the Moto H20. So that's the reason I thought of uploading this video for those users. And is the Chrome uh, browser which I'm trying to show you exactly. The Moto H20 has got the screen max brightness up to 466, but the screen brightness can go up to 650 nits as well that's what the information we can actually get in the quick google search straight to do the google search you will get the information so 466 with the full brightness mode with auto brightness mode it can go up to 650 so let's check out friends those things is it kind of possible in the Moto H20 device or not can this get high brightness or not that's what i'm going to concentrate and this is a quick uh, screen test application which I'll try to use and this is a maximum brightness test which I'm going to do for the first time. So let's select the maximum brightness test and turn on this uh, looks meter, digital looks meter. And right now we should be able to see the results, what's happening here. Yeah, so right now with the full brightness, so with the maximum brightness, you can see maximum brightness is there. I'll try to measure it exactly. So with the maximum brightness means we are getting wow. That's pretty accurate. Exactly what are the companies claiming we are getting. 666 that's really very cool very cool we got in the overall uh, you can definitely say that i'll try to turn off the lights and i'll try to show you exactly the results what's going on even with the lights turn off also you can see exactly 657 658 nothing much huge difference right even with the lights turn off so lights are not impacting the results so you are in the studio light environment. Now next is to test the minimum brightness uh, testing. Let's see this is the minimum brightness testing which I am going to do. So minimum brightness the phone can come, come down to 1 nits as well. Wow that's pretty low brightness friends overall. If you ask me definitely. Not bad that's really very good regarding the low brightness. And now let's test out the auto brightness mode. What happens with auto brightness mode. Let's go to the display options and enable this uh, auto brightness is already on and let's enable this brightness to 100 percent. I'll try to point out some light on this uh, device. Right now as you can see friends, I'm trying to keep the phone torch light on this top so you should be able to see exactly the phone's brightness will definitely increase to the maximum and the highest value we are getting about kind of close to uh, 600 if you're trying to use as you can 600. And I'll try to take out the phone and I'll try to see what's happening with auto brightness mode. I'm not sure it's kind of working or not. It's not working I guess because the brightness is not decreasing at all friends. Like that's totally weird. But it's not decreasing. So I'm to point out now and let's see. what it's not even increasing that's kind of totally weird no i cannot see any kind of number increasing but overall with the maxed out brightness the phone did reach up to 100 uh, i mean 600 nits as well not bad with the maxed out brightness and everything after using the white color completely pure the max uh, brightness so that's it friends, thank you for watching this quick testing friends on the Moto H20 device regarding the overall brightness uh, testing. Meanwhile signing off and let's stay for more updates. In case if you have any other questions on the Moto H20, do let me know in the comment section below. And uh, until then stay for more updates, signing off and bye.